Hello students. Today's lecture is going to be on peer groups as seen in your adolescent text by Lawrence Steinberg. So the way Lawrence Steinberg starts this off is with the origins of adolescent peer groups in contemporary society. Uh, back before the 1900s, uh, peer groups didn't really emerge all that often because education wasn't free. Uh, high school back then was pretty expensive actually, so peer groups weren't able to get together and form all that much. But uh, from the 1900s to the 1930s, education started becoming more free. Adolescents started being able to come together more often and just couple that with the baby boomer generation from the 1960s to the 1990s you got a lot of adolescents uh, that are uh, coming up that are uh, coming together in these free educational institutions and you just got a whole lot of peer groups coming up now so a big boom a big boom in the uh, past decades with adolescent peer groups. Um, technology is becoming a big thing. Technology is becoming so big that it's no longer segregating uh, adolescents, but it's actually um, helping them come together more. Technology is becoming a tool to help them better prepare themselves for adulthood. Uh, these are this is the nature of adolescent peer groups uh, when adolescents grow older the less likely they are to want to hang out with their parents they want to hang out with adolescents uh, in their childhoods uh, children they're more likely to um, hang out with the same gender however uh, they become more sex integrated the older they get so we're going to learn the difference between crowds and cliques. Uh, these are your crowds. Uh, you got your nerds, brains, jocks, popular people, normal people, tough guys, druggies, partiers. It turns out that nerds, brains, and jocks, those are the crowds that are more likely to go to college or universities. However, uh, crowds such as party goers, popular people, jocks, those are people who are more likely to go to parties, concerts, and other places where peers congregate. Uh, this is what cliques are. Uh, cliques come about when adolescents hang out with each other according to their age, their sex, their ethnicity, they tend to group up like that a lot more. Uh, students, adolescents tend to group up more based on how they think about school. For example, uh, students and adolescents who think school suck, they tend out to hang out with uh, even more students who think that school sucks. Um, and they're ever shifting too. If you start out with one group of friends in the seventh grade, you're not as likely to keep them around until the end of your senior year. Like you may be able to know them still and remember them, but it's not as likely that you're going to be hanging out with them as much uh, by the end of your senior year or even by the end of your seventh grade year. Popularity, rejection, and bullying. There's two types of popularity. There's sociometric popularity and there's perceived popularity. Sociometric popularity is how much people are liked. Like this, these are the likable people. However, perceived popularity goes to those adolescents who are able to use money, wealth, um, that kind of influence in order to be popular. Those who are more emotionally stable are more likely to be popular. The more emotionally compromised you are, the less likely you are to be popular, but the more likely you are to be victimized and bullied, which is what we'll get into depth right now. So uh, bullying is a very rampant trend. Uh, it's starting to decrease 
uh, over the years. Uh, bullying on campus is not as prevalent at now as it was in the 1990s. However, that's because cyberbullying is taking up more of a precedence now. Uh, adolescents are able to go on the internet. They're able to go on social media. They're able to do so anonymously and message very vulgar and degrading messages to their peers and bullying that way. And as we know, uh, this leads to uh, a lot of consequences, many negative consequences, um, a lot of negative cognitive effects. Uh, suicide is at a really hard, high rate because of bullying and cyberbullying. Uh, a lot of a lot of bad stuff so that is the lecture on peer groups today uh, there's a lot more stuff in the Steinberg text that wasn't covered in this lecture so I invite you to go check that out if you found this to be interesting uh, other than that I'll see you next time thank you